guys welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel so for today's video we're gonna be doing an aesthetic kitchen makeover I have not yet unpacked the kitchen so I thought that I would just make a whole video for the moving series on my kitchen and what I'm gonna do with it so excited because I got some exciting new appliances and things yeah let me show you guys what we're working with so here is our kitchen just all blank I have not really unloaded anything yet but here is our blank canvas and what we have to work with yeah so as you can see this kitchen has a lot of storage like there's so many huge cabinets along here above the fridge and like also under here over here I got all of our kitchen boxes I think this is pretty much everything we have and then I also went to Ikea yesterday So we have a couple of new things that I will give you guys a haul of what we got, but I'm so excited Okay, so not exactly sure what's in here. I think it's like plates and stuff But I guess we'll find out so we got are two cute ikea cutting boards so this is the big one and then this is like the set that it came in from ikea i just have to find a place for this i kind of have to just like map everything out but it's kind of hard kitchen utensils this random organization thing i think i'm just gonna kind of lay everything out on the table and then go from there okay that is officially one box unpacked that took me about five minutes so not bad but now we just kind of have to start sorting through everything to see where it's gonna go so here's all that was in box number one really random mishmash of things but i'm just gonna kind of figure out where i want to put like the cups and the mugs right now and then we'll go from there so what i think i'm gonna do is put cups up here like glass cups and then on the left here put mugs just because i feel like it makes the most sense so let's try that and then we'll see how i like it Really love the way this is looking so far. I don't even have all the glasses out yet, but it's off to a good start. I actually miss this toaster so much. Here is what it was in the second box. I got my toaster and I got some dishes. I did buy some new dishes, so I'll show you guys that later. But this cute bowl, these little crucibles, and yeah. So I'm going to find a place to now put the dishes. So I think I'm going to put my dishes in here. Just so that when I unload the dishwasher again, they're not too far. Since the cups are over there, I feel like it makes sense if the plates and stuff is right here. Okay, so here's what I came up with. I'm gonna put bowls in this one because we have kind of a lot of just like random little bowls and stuff and then plates can go over here so that there's lots of room and then that way they're separated. So this is definitely gonna work. So in this box, we just got some Tupperwares, bowl. I think I'm gonna put the Tupperware in this drawer right here just cause I feel like it could be really well organized in here. Here in this drawer underneath the microwave, I'm just gonna put everything like my parchment paper and random stuff like that. So this is just gonna go right here. Okay, so this is my always pan. I love it so much and I kind of like it displayed in the kitchen just because it's such a cute pan and eventually I'm gonna upgrade so that like all of my cookware is from this brand because I love them so much but I like to have this display just because it adds a little bit of cuteness to the kitchen and this also kind of matches the vibe and they come in just like the cutest colors but I think I'm just gonna leave it on the oven just to kind of have it displayed <laughs> Here's what was in that box over here. I just got some stuff to put like rice and pasta. I used to use these for, so I'm gonna get some stuff to fill those soon. This is my cute little olive oil holder that I love so much. I actually thrifted that. And then here's just a bunch of utensils I kind of have to organize. And then my utensil set here for beside the stove. And then here's my mug tree. This is just like a mini kettle to make teas and stuff. And then we got some baking supplies. This is just supplies for my juicer. And then this knife block set, which I think I want to get a new one, but We'll see. I'm going to think about that.
bunch of baking stuff and containers so this you guys is still from my apartment i don't even know if this is still good obviously the sugar is still good but i don't know if the oats are still good this is coconut sugar that's brown sugar so definitely gonna be keeping these and then this is just i used to store our nespresso pods in here and then this one over here is for flour but as you can see i never cleaned them before we moved out because we were kind of rushing i'm gonna kind of think about how to organize everything So I just unpacked all my like cute china ware or dishware, I don't know what you'd call this, but I'm gonna just put them at the top of the cabinet since these are not used as often, but they're so cute. I got these containers off of Amazon. I was originally gonna use them for my bathroom, but I feel like I can just order more because I was thinking that they'd be really good for the kitchen as well. So I'll show you guys what they look like. They're like kind of like colorful crates, but they would look so cute in the kitchen. So if I like them, I'll just order more for my bathroom. Oh my god, they're so cute. So they came in pink, blue, yellow, and then green. Sorry if you hear noise, by the way. Joel's just building our table right now, so it's like he's knocking on stuff but i didn't really realize that i would need little baskets like this to organize like littler things in the kitchen just to make it look more appealing and so that things just feel more organized they literally just assemble like that they're so cute oh my god okay i'm actually really excited for these look at how cute they are oh my god they just like really match the vibe and aesthetic of the kitchen so i'm really happy okay so so far i have these bins filled up so this is just with my baking supplies and then this is just all my juicer supplies so that I can just have it together. And then over here in these two bins, I'm going to put my supplements. I don't have all of them right now, but this would be a perfect place to put them in these two bins here. Okay, let's unbox the dishes together. I'm so excited that we have cream dishes now. So we have a light dish set and then also a dark dish set. So whatever you're feeling, like whatever mood you're in that day, you can find a plate to suit it. <laughs> So these are the beige that we got. It's just a nice, clean, you know, shiny beige, which is really cute. I just actually thought that I should probably throw these in the dishwasher before using them because it's probably the safe thing to do. So let's load these into the dishwasher so they can get it clean before I actually put them away. So this is the drawer that I'm gonna put the cutlery in. As I think I already showed you guys, this is our old cutlery thing. So I'm excited to upgrade, because as you can see, this is so small in comparison to the drawer. So this is so much bigger and nicer. And the only thing is, is this fits this way only, and it doesn't fit this way, which is fine. I mean, I don't even mind it like this, but we're just gonna work with what we got. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna transfer everything from here into here right now. So I may or may not have done a thing and I caved, okay? I caved, I couldn't resist. I was like, you know what? I want this place to be like my dream place. So I got some Smeg appliances. I got the kettle. This is actually in the cream color. And then I also got the coffee maker because me and Joel love having like drip coffee. Joel has it every day. I don't have it like as often because I like to switch my drinks up, but it's gonna look so cute and aesthetic in the kitchen and I feel like they're gonna last for a long time, hopefully. So I'm so excited about it. I don't even need knife. Oh my god. Oh Joel, look at this. It is so cute. Oh my god. 
I'm just like in person this looks so much cuter it's just like things like this that really pull together the kitchen and make it look so cute and i'm so excited because we bought a really cheap kettle in our apartment just because when we were first moving in we just went to a random store and bought a kettle but i'm so excited like was it worth 200 dollars? 100 percent. she is so pretty <laughs> oh my god I'm like more excited for this than I should be. This is just adorable. Like it's so retro. It has a little knob here. About to get the base out. So shiny and clean. And neat. now it's time for the coffee maker. Are you kidding me? This is gonna be so cute. I got it in the same color as the kettle, just to keep everything neutral. And then, like I said, I can decorate with more colorful things, so I can switch anything out if I get bored. Because I do get bored of things really easily, so that's why I can't really go for a color. Dreams really do come true, guys. I've been manifesting like snake appliances ever since my apartment but i just couldn't like bite the bullet on them now it's easier for me to do that and i'm so grateful this is your sign that you can literally manifest anything you want because i would envision smeg in my household and now i have it oh my god it looks so pretty already you guys i'm actually obsessed the reason why i wanted a cute coffee maker too was because I just wanted to kind of leave it on the countertop so every morning when Joel makes his coffee he doesn't have to like take the coffee maker out of like the cabinet so it'll just be easy on the counter she is just so beautiful this is so big I love it and it also comes with the reusable filter which is nice so that saves the environment a bit and then obviously it comes with the cute little what's it called coffee pour i really hope that this doesn't break because we actually shattered our last coffee maker thing because it was drying and then it fell on the floor so i'm not sure how i would replace this if it ever broke but hopefully there's a way you're done like you're kidding me this is so cute i'm so excited okay let's go set this up can we just take a moment of silence to appreciate how beautiful this coffee maker is i just keep staring at it because of how beautiful it is i don't even want to use it because it's like just so beautiful and new and nice and i just want to kiss it also this kettle so beautiful as well i just can't it looks so cute yet like the shelves are not even in it because they're all packaged and in the freezer so what i'm gonna do right now before we go grocery shopping is just unpack the shelf like yeah the shelves are just right here and i'm assuming you're just gonna kind of flop them on which is fine so let's do that I hurt myself to see if, like i couldn't handle it yet another amazon package in the mail i think this one is for the kitchen so let's open it up and find out maybe not this one let me get the other one just kidding okay so it was the first one you always gotta listen to your intuition you guys see that's what happens when you doubt it so those colorful crates that i got that i show you guys that i'm organizing my stuff within the kitchen so i got these white ones and i got three of them but they're bigger so what I'm gonna do with these is these are gonna be like my pantry organization. Just, oh, there's four. Oh my God, okay, this is so nice. I thought there's three. So I wanted to get bigger ones because now I can put these in the pantry to organize it really nice. Then they're just sleek white and then my smaller ones are colored to add, you know, that pop of color. These are a lot bigger, so it's really nice. I feel like these add like a funky little aspect to the kitchen rather than getting just like clear organizers. Oh my gosh, I love it. So I went to the grocery store yesterday and I got some rice, some flour, and then some pasta so I can fill my little um, bins. So we're gonna do that right now.
I just picked up this cute little dish holder from Ikea. It was only like $6 or something like that. I think it's gonna match perfectly with the kitchen because it's just simple and plain. Seems like pretty good quality. And then I'm just gonna fill it with this soap that I got from Costco. I got like a big jug and then it came with a little one as well. But this is like more natural, so it's nice and it smells really good. I hate when they make the stickers like super hard to get off. I think that might have been just the most successful value village haul of all time like look how much we got and i'm gonna unbox it all right now and show you guys and then i'm gonna wash it and then we'll put it away and then final kitchen reveal i'm so happy like that was amazing I am actually obsessed with everything that we got. So let me do one by one here. So I got this cup set and it came with three cute little cups. How adorable, they're all the same. So cute and so summery as well. And then next thing we got is this little popcorn bowl. Like how aesthetic and cute is this? Obviously it needs a wash, but oh my gosh, just adorable and only $2. Like you gotta be kidding me. And then I got this little pot. I just am obsessed with it, the little flowers on it. And I don't know what I'm gonna cook in here, but it is just so adorable. And then I got this little, it's like glass, this blue basket, which will be perfect for like eating a little portion of grapes or just like any fruit in here. And it's just so adorable. I love this color blue. And then this just might be my favorite find. So this is a Butterbell. And basically what you do is you put the butter up here and then you put water down here and it helps keep your butter really fresh out of the fridge. And how cute is this cow print only six dollars and this is definitely gonna stay on display i'm so happy that we found this and then i got these two heart shapes um dishes i am just in love like are you kidding displaying these for valentine's day like two dollars and then these two are so cute as well like i can even cook like a little mug cake in this four dollars like so cheap and then last but not least we got this pie holder and it was only like 350 how adorable like this is supposed to replicate like crust and then this just goes like this like this is so adorable for like having a cute little dinner party with a, having a pie inside and it looks just so vintage and different like you won't be able to really find another piece that looks like this so i'm completely obsessed with everything i'm gonna give everything a quick wash right now and then we'll put it away So first things first, when you walk over in this corner right next to the oven, we got this toaster. I will try to link it if I can find it on Amazon, but eventually I'm going to definitely replace it for Smeg. I'm just not sure if I want to get cream or blue because I feel like blue would slap, but I'll think about that. Then we got a knife block with these two salt and pepper shakers from Amazon that we actually got gifted to us, and they're so easy and nice to use and this is just from superstore this knife block and then this i thrifted this like a year ago i'm literally in love with this and then up top here we have our bowls so i organized all of our bowls up here there's still more storage here if we get anything new but i put all of our new things that we got from value village as well in here which is super cute these are from ikea this is from i think the store is called muji this is from there as well these two are thrifted and then these bowls are from ikea 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 and then i thrifted that flower bowl up top then that's it for here and then down here we have the kitchen drawer like utensil drawer this is from like my r place pan and mostly everything in here is honestly from ikea this is from ikea ikea literally everything i really love this pink knife though i'm not sure where this is from um but it's so cute and then we just have like a matcha whisk and yeah honestly everything in here is basically from ikea so self-explanatory and then over here i put our spices we still have to kind of grow a spice drawer but i got this set of spice jars on amazon and i will try to link them if i can find them but so cheap and came with so many jars and these organizers are also from amazon which i will link down below so this is going to be the spice drawer there's still lots of room in here and then down here we got the pots these are from canadian tire i believe we got this set a year ago but they're still in good shape definitely will upgrade probably within the next year but for now they work fine 
And then up here on the stove, this pan is from our place, like I already mentioned, but we love it so much and we use it for everything. And then I just thrifted this, as you guys saw. How cute is it? I'm obsessed. It's more for honestly show, because I just love it so much, but hopefully I can actually use it for something. And then this dish towel is from Ikea. Going along over here, kettle is smeg, obviously, in the shade cream. And then this paper towel holder is from Ikea. Um, this I just thrifted and then this cutlery set you guys or kitchen utensil set was so cheap off of Amazon And it comes with absolutely everything and it's really good So 10 out of 10 would recommend and I think that this cow print just looks so cute in this area And then up here we have our plates So I put the heart-shaped plates up there that I thrifted and then the rest is just from Ikea And then down here is our cutlery drawer. So this is from Ikea um, And then all the cutlery is also from Ikea. These straws are from Amazon and then these chopsticks are from Muji as well, which are so cute. And yeah, pretty self-explanatory, but this just looks so aesthetic the way that it fits in here. And yeah, I love it. And then back here, I actually have some extra straws, which always come in handy. And then in this drawer here is where I organize the Tupperware. I just love how it fits and it's so practical. It's never gonna be messy because there's a place for everything. And then down here, we just have our rest of our pans and it's from the same set as we got the other pots from. And then we just got like this giant kind of walk type thing from Ikea. So there's that. And then coming here is the sink. I'm really obsessed with the sink setup here. It looks a lot better than I thought. So as you guys saw, I got this from Ikea, 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 Ikea. And then this is also from Ikea. So everything here is from Ikea and I just love how clean this looks because putting the dish towel and the sponge and stuff at the bottom of the sink always becomes so musty. So it's so nice how there's a perfect slot right here for the dish towel to dry. Like this thing is so useful. And then I just love how we can keep the sponges up here so that they don't get musty. And then this always comes in handy when I clean the sink and stuff. So that's what I use this scrubber for. But I love this green theme going on and it's just so cute. And then below the sink here is just like extra storage where I put soap, a cleaner, our dish pods, um, gloves, and then there's an extra drying rack just in case we need it. But it's kind of good there because it kind of holds everything. And then this is just a makeshift garbage. I probably want to get a big of a bigger one, but this will do for now. And then to the left of that, we have this dish dryer from Ikea. And I kind of like the way that it looks on the counter. So we're just going to keep it up here. We have this mug tree that I got off Amazon, which I will also link. These cups I just thrifted, which I'm obsessed with. And then we have this little Portugal cute one that I actually got from Portugal. So this is so special to me. And obviously this coffee maker smeg and then my Nespresso machine. So it's a cute little coffee slash tea corner over here. And then right below here is this cabinet, which is nice and big. So over here, we have our blender, our juicer, and then our air fryer, and then just Joel's big protein powder. And there's also still space behind here. So there's a lot of storage here, which I really love. And then turning around on this side of the kitchen, in this drawer, I just kind of put miscellaneous things like the oven mitts, extra towels, um, napkins, parchment paper, stuff like that. These cute little coasters that I actually bought. And yeah, just kind of miscellaneous things it's nice to just have a drawer to throw it in to the left of that this is my little pantry organization that I did extra pantry stuff back in these white bins and then we got the rice and pasta on the right side here this jar is actually gonna be used for Nespresso pods once I buy them and then this is for vitamins right here down here there's more storage where we just have random snacks coffee and just pretty much snacks just for extra pantry space but I really like how this turned out and how organized it looked and this is actually like a huge cabinet which is awesome. Over here, we got the baking supplies. As you can see, it's pretty empty, so we got lots of space if I ever buy anything new. We got some bowls, some strainers, some baking dishes, my baking measurements, and all that fits really nicely in this little um, thing. I'll link these down below, by the way, and that's that. And then last but not least, on this big island, I just put this in the middle for now because this can even be used for like cookies or whatever and I just think that it's so cute so until I get bored of it I'm just gonna keep it in the middle of the kitchen because this island is so big and I feel like it just needs something on here so yeah that was my aesthetic kitchen makeover I hope you guys enjoyed I'm so surprised with the thrift finds that I found I find that nowadays Valley Village has more homeware stuff than clothes that I like so if you guys are looking to spice up your kitchen definitely go thrifting because it will surprise you and it's so cheap and I'm just so happy with what we found and my kitchen is just beautiful now and yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and turn on your bell notifications because i'm going to be posting more moving vlogs for this series and i'm so excited to decorate the rest of the house i hope you guys enjoyed and took some inspiration anyways i'll see you in my next video don't forget to follow me on every social media platform possible and i'll see you guys in my next video